All right, we're going to start warming up those joints and the muscles. So take the band overhead and pull down right below the chin and release it with control. Two, let's go to 10. Done. And 10. We're going to start straight out in front, pull back, and release it. You can also do this with your mini band right here. You don't have to get that full range of motion. You just warm up that rear delt, back of the shoulder. It is 10. Release it. We're going to come down to a bird dog on the hands and the knees. And we're going to extend the opposite arm and leg up together and place the hand below the shoulder. And then we're going to come up to a full plank and we're going to reach for the ankle. Ankle and then come back to a plank. And one more. Ten, release it. We're going to flip over to the back. We're going to make a T with our hands, 90 degrees in the knees, and we're going to drop our knees down to the side and then reset back over the hips. Other side, drop. We're going to go ten total, five on each. Keep going, there's four, five, and ten. Flip over to the stomach for a back extension. We'll keep the hands above the head. Right here, I'm going to lift and lower. Warm up that back and that core. Lower back is still included in that core. And 10. We're going to stand on up. And we're going to start off with a reverse lunge into a hammer curl. So let's grab our weights. All right, what's up? Good morning. We're Starting off with a reverse lunge camera curl. We already got that warm up in there, so we're gonna start stepping back into a lunge, and then we're gonna stand back up, camera curl, six on each. So we have 12 camera curls total. Reverse lunge, drive through the heel, curl, there's two. Give me six on each side. Once you get six on one side, switch to the other. Reverse lunge, drive to the heel. Okay. 
There's six. And then we're going to go right into a lateral raise. We have 12 lateral raises up to shoulder height. Control it down. And then your option, 90 degrees. Right there for 12. If you get too tired on those lateral raises, you can also start alternating. After 12, we're going to go back to that reverse lunge, hammer curl. Right there. If you need a break, set your weights down in between, let your grip relax. That's what, probably what's going to go first is your forearm. Your grip strength. All right, and then we're going back for our second set. We're going to be doing three sets total. All right, let's grab the weights. Reverse lunge, hammer curls. We're getting our glutes, quads, core, biceps, six on each. Six and switch. There's six. And then we'll go back to our lateral raise. 12 reps, alternate when you need to, or take 90 degrees in the elbows. And 12, set them down, let your grip relax. Get some water in between, we have one more set. We're gonna do three sets total. Gonna burn out that shoulder, this lateral raise. We're always gonna stay high rep and lower weight on that lateral raise. So drop weight if you have it. If you don't, 90 degrees, or start alternating arms. Okay, one more set, reverse lunge, hammer curl, six on each, 12 total. Down, curl, here's one. Six and switch. There's six, last set of lateral raise. This last set's gonna be the hardest, so watch your form. Take, take it down a level when you need to. And 12. Good job. Once you get 12 in there, let's grab some more water. And then we're going to get two new moves in there. All right, we have a deadlift into a row. 
So two options here, we can take our foot up as we drop the chest, row, and then bring it back through. So we're constantly standing on one leg or put your kickstand down in the back, hinge at the waist, row, and bring it up. Actually, another really good option if you need it is to pull out a low bench. Right here, so if you have one of these benches, this is a really good option if you're losing balance. We're gonna hold your weights by the side. You got your deadlift, but you can rest one weight on your bench while you row and then stand back up. So that's a good option if you need it. Let's try six on each. All right, I'm gonna be challenging my balance. I'm gonna try my one leg the whole time. Bring that knee through, six on each side. Six and then switch sides. Out like saying you're tired. It's good for that balance. Now I'm on my left leg, which is not my dominant side. So you might notice one is a little bit more stable than the other. One more. Woo, I almost lost that last one. All right, let's grab some water and then we're gonna do front raises instead of lateral. All right, we're gonna do a neutral grip front raise so we'll keep the thumbs up. It's a little bit easier on that shoulder joint. Starting down with the hips, thumbs are up, chest tight. And back down with control. 12 reps here. And 12, all right, we're gonna do three sets of that. Single leg deadlift with that low row, and our front raises. Six on each for the deadlift, 12 total for the front raise. All right, let's get these deadlifts done again. A lot of stability in that leg. Give me six on each, hip hinge, low row, And six, switch sides. And that whole leg all the way up to that glute. There's six. And rest. And then we have our neutral grip front raises. That leg gets tight real quick. It's a good thing we're only doing six. All right, let's go front raises. 12, when you need the option, alternate the arms. Take one up at a time. Thumbs are up.
and 12. All right, we have one more set. Let me grab the thing. One more set of deadlifts, one more set of front raises. Let's go, six on each. Five, last one, and then switch legs. Last one balance, and the last one. All right, final six right here. Lunge. 
Six and switch. There's four, two more reps. Good, six reps. Set that down, we're gonna go back to our Arnold press. Twelve reps of that Arnold press. If you're lifting heavier and you can only get eight reps in, you can stop at eight, that's totally fine. All right, palms are facing you. Press and rotate, one. There's 12. Set it down. All right, if you want some water, go for it. We're going to do one more set. I'm going to try to pop my back real quick. All right, we'll do one more, and then we have a little core superset, and then we'll stretch. Lateral lunge, upright row, six on each with that double bounce if you want to challenge. One. Last time, down, down, and six. And then one more set of arm presses. Seated or standing. Seated or standing. Palms are facing you. Give me 12. And 12, release it. Whew, very good work. All right, let's do some double crunches and then we have some back extensions and push ups coming up. So we'll get, get rid of this ball for a second. I'll lower my screen down. Get your mat, get your towel. And if you want to hold a weight for your back extension, you can place one above your head. I'll do something light. You might need a heavy weight for that. We're going to lay on the stomach. You have a back extension with or without your weight. With. And then we're going to slide around. Bring those hands down and around to a push up. We're going to push up. Bring it back down, out, and around for that back extension. So give yourself some room to take those arms down and around. This is good range of motion for your shoulder joint. All right, let's do it. Push up. We're going to go five reps. Oh, 
That's three. And five. Release it. We're going to flip over to the back for a double crunch. Yeah, that 10 pound weight weighs too heavy for that back extension. I would need like a five or even like a water bottle to hold in those hands. So for your double crunch, we're going to start with your knees and dumbbells together. As your legs extend, take the dumbbell overhead, bring it back in, and lift the shoulder blades. Option is one leg at a time. One leg, let's go for 10. One more, and 10. And then we're gonna go back to five back extensions with those push-ups. This is our last super set. We're gonna do three times and then we'll stretch. Hands above the head, start that back extension, lift, lower, out and around, and push-up. You can stay on the knees if you need to. And five. We're gonna flip back over. Double crunches. Those are good. That lower back still included in your core. Very important to have a strong core front and back. All right, let's focus on the pull over here for that back muscle. We're gonna go for 10 reps here. And five. Good job. Those are tough. But very, very good on your whole entire core, front and back, those shoulder joints, your pecs, this full body. Let's go into our double crunches one last time. Knees and dumbbell are together. Keep those arms straight the entire time. And we'll take it back overhead.
Ten times.
Feel that head of blast. Some control, roll your shoulders back, and we are done. Thank you for being here. Thanks for working out with me. We'll have this one posted in case we use it later.